Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu wa sallamu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd your eminence the sultan of sokoto kharifet brigadier general alhaj muhammad saad abu bakar the third who is our chief guest tonight the chairman University Council, a Sheikh Dr. Abdullah, the rector, the rectorship, IUIU in Uganda, the directorship and administration Kampara Campus, that the good presidency of IUIU Kampara Campus is pleased to inform you that Nigeria is one of the countries that has contributed and supported this university by allowing its students who are overnight in total to come and study from this university in Uganda. That is IUIU Kampara Campus. <laughs> and because of the good gesture that Nigeria as a country extended to Kampara Campus and IUIU fraternity, when we were appointing student leaders in this university we gave a greater consideration to the nigerian community by appointing the vice president of islamic university in uganda kampara campus by names of mubarak al hassan faskari from kaduna <laughs> as the vice president of islamic university in uganda kampara campus this was to appreciate Nigeria as a country for allowing its students to come and acquire knowledge from Uganda, and that is IU, IU, IU. But above all, to tap into the leadership potentials of the Nigerian fraternity of students in IU, IU, in order to promote and boost leadership in IU, IU Kampara campus. Brothers and sisters in your respective capacities, our dear students, Ladies and gentlemen, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Uh, first of all, I have a duty to thank most, most humbly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for bringing us to this moment. When we are hosting a very distinguished personality and Muslim leader, in Africa, not only in Nigeria, but Africa. It's an honor for us, Your Eminence, to host you this evening, and would want to thank you very much for agreeing to come and be with us as we graduate our students. Inshallah, Tara. It's a, a great honor for which we are most humbly grateful. I know you wanted to come about two years ago, but other duties prevented you. Now, we can't be more grateful. We want to thank our Chancellor, or Chairman of Council, Dr. Abdaziz Asubai, who is here to do many things in his uh, statutory obligations as chairman of council. And as you know, the third rector of the Islamic University in Uganda, the late Professor Mahadi Adam, was from Sokoto State. And uh, the government of the Republic of Nigeria seconds staff to this university 
About two years ago, the total staff we had from Nigeria, seconded by the government of Nigeria, was 53. In this December, we are expecting another group of about 30 academic staff in various disciplines, courtesy of the government of the Republic of Nigeria, for which we are most grateful. So there is a relationship, a growing relationship between this university and the great people of Nigeria, which can only go much further with the presence of our chief guests today. And we look forward to greater cooperation and support from the people of Nigeria. Your Eminence, the Islamic University in Uganda has over 8,000 students coming from over 20 countries. We have international students from many other countries. Uh, our chief guest is called Al Haj Muhammad Saad Abu Bakan. He is the 20th Sultan of the Sokoto Caliphate. In the whole level, there is a paper of West African history. And when you study that paper, you study about Uthman Dan Fodio. You remember that? Uthman Dan Fodio was the founder of the Caliphate of Sokoto Caliphate. This is the 20th. This is the current Uthman Dan Fodio. Okay. It is such a great honor for us. And this is one of the historical days in the history of IUIU. This day will be remembered for a long, long, long time to come, inshallah. We are so honored today to have His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, visiting IUIU. We are so proud and so happy to have him among us, in fact. IU, IU, as you know, we are proud of our university as being one of the big universities in this region. IU, IU has 20 different nationalities. IU, IU has 30% of its students from non-Muslims. That's why always we say knowledge is for everybody knowledge for every single person, men and women. Therefore, when we come to IU, IU, true we are learning knowledge, but not only knowledge, rather we are learning values. We are learning uh, important uh, issues related to our life. First, we are Muslims, definitely for most of us, and Islam, in fact, guides us in this university. But we are open as Islam does to all other belief, to all other nationalities, to all other races, in fact. This is a university of knowledge, a university of tolerance, a university of cooperation, a university of working together, in fact, for a better future for us individual and for Uganda and for Africa in general and the world. In fact, here we are not coming to speak. We are coming to listen to the advice, to the vision of the great ideas of His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto. Therefore, I would like to make my speech very short, seeking his wisdom that we are going to hear now, inshallah. Please, Your Eminence, we would like to welcome you again, and we thank you for giving us this opportunity. And I'm so glad that you postponed your visit, because two years ago, I was not here. I'm so lucky, in fact, this time. Thank you very much. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan al-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa sallallahu ala nabi al-kareem. My most distinguished brothers and sisters, most importantly, the chairman of this great university and the rector, very important students of this great university, whom we are all here for you. If not for you, we wouldn't have been here. 
So you are much more important than the rector himself. Without students, there won't be a rector. Without a university, there won't be a chairman of any council. So students are the most important. Other distinguished brothers, most importantly, who have come here to be with us to see us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to disappoint you. I am not here to give a lecture. That is the first disappointment. Second disappointment, I'm not going to speak for the 45 minutes I was given in the program. Because you have spent most time, most of this time sitting down here waiting for us. Because you had to go and see the Kabaka, who took most of my time. We went to the Supreme Council, where I saw my brother and friend, Sheikh Mubaji. He almost didn't want me to come over here. I had to pull myself out here. I'm into this place here today. So I don't have the 45 minutes luxury to speak with you. But I want to first start by thanking Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessing on us and for making it possible for us to finally be in Uganda to visit this university. Today is a very special day for us because I know it took the director three good years between 2014 to this time since he had been to Sokoto trying to drag me here. And like my brother the chairman said, he was very happy I didn't come two years ago because he wouldn't have been here. But I want to tell you that I will still come back again. After the three years invitation, finally Almighty Allah made it possible because you as a human being, you plan, plan, plan. But Almighty Allah is the best of planners. Therefore, we only play along on the path Almighty Allah laid for us. So we thank him most sincerely for making it possible for us to be here today. When I was asked to visit this campus, when I arrived, day before yesterday, or let me say yesterday, early hours of the morning. I told the director, what am I coming to do here? He said the students just want to see you because some of them have read history, they have read about the Sokoto Caliphate, and they just want to see you. I said, okay, if seeing me by the students will make them pass their exams, I will come. So I'm here to tell you that I do not want to hear any failure from anybody. <laughs> Instead, I want to hear a very high pass mark of minimum 2-1. And all graduates, especially our sisters or our daughters who are doctors, uh, will be very proud of your achievement. Now I'm here, he has talked about the Sokoto Caliphate, which some of you have read that started February 1804. And from that time to now, I'm the 20th Khalifa of this Caliphate. It means there are 19 others before me. And I'll be here only for 11 years. 2nd November 2017, exactly. Made it 11 years on this seat. Before then, I was in the military, where I spent 31 years of my life wearing the uniform of Nigerian Army, and I worked everywhere. But I want to tell you the best place, my best place of work in my 31 years has been in Pakistan as a military advisor overseeing Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states for three years. I'm saying this for you to know how important I have taken that posting to be. Because you see, when you are doing, when you are carrying out your life, you don't know what Almighty Allah is planning for you. 
He took me there for three years, 2003 to 2006. And by 2nd November 2006, I was on this seat of the Sultan. Now I've gotten a lot of experience in those three years. I've seen religious extremism, I've seen violence, I've seen where people kill people in the name of religion. Well, let me say in the name of Islam. Because to the Westerners, only Muslims still in the name of Islam. But when Christians kill in the name of violence, in the name of terrorism, they are only called terrorists. There is no Christian terrorist anywhere in the world. And most recently, you've heard of somebody walking into a church and killed 27 people, wounding so many others. But he is a terrorist or a madman, but not a Christian madman or a Christian terrorist. So let me say, I've seen where people use religion very, very wrongly to commit criminal activities. And I've always shouted very loud and clear, such people should be given their names as criminals, not Muslim terrorists, not Muslim criminals. We've been around the world talking to people, and I believe I have said so much about that. Those who followed my activities, those who followed through the internet, some of my speeches, in the last 10 years, have been so revealing about my own position as regards these issues. So today, Almighty Allah made it possible for us to be here, because Sokoto Caliphate was founded on knowledge. The Khalifa leaders wrote so many, many, many books, including books on medicine. And they wrote those books when there were no computers, no electricity, no bios, not to call pens with ink. They wrote those books with cornstalk and local ink. There were no photocopiers, but they were writing and there's somebody copying what page they have written. And in that manner, the Khalifa leaders wrote over 400 books. 400. And what we are doing, because we know the importance of education, we are spreading these books around the world. We are able to translate into English and Hausa language. Of course, the Muslim are in Arabic. Some of those books and distribute them free of charge to people. So that people know there are those who wrote these books who stood on the path of truth and what Islam stands for over 200 years back. That's the flame we are still carrying. That's the flame that refused to die. It's still very, very bright. And that's why I decided to be here today to see my sons and daughters in this university. And I want to thank you for uh, coming out to be here. I know you have been here for some time, but I believe it's worthwhile having come from such a very long distance. And like I've said earlier, having seen me in flesh and blood, a normal human being with two legs, two eyes, two hands, he speaks, he eats, he drinks, he cracks jokes, he's totally human. You should now go and concentrate on your books and read hard and pass your exams. Like the rector said, if you ask a question about Dr. Caliphate, if you happen to be a history student, do not write, I saw the Sultan in flesh and blood, <laughs> and expect to pass. The examiner will fail you most horribly. So I urge you to read, read wide, read wide, read wide, and read very hard. For those medical students, I value you most importantly because I believe so much in female education and female doctors, especially Muslim female doctors. That's why I have a project where I am sponsoring female doctors of southwestern Nigeria origin in the last seven years. And I want to tell you that so far, I can say I have nine female doctors practicing. Those are sponsored and they are graduates. And there are still some in the universities under my scholarship. I'm telling you so as to encourage you to know that 
We value you most importantly. And those who think women shouldn't get education should go and hide their faces in shame. Because our caliphate was founded on knowledge. And Nana Asmao, the daughter of Muhammad Amfodio, was even an advisor to her brother Sultan Muhammad Bello. So women have a very big role to play. You know you are the mothers, you know you are the sisters, you are everything in the family, you are the ones who bring up families. You have to take it more seriously. Because one educated woman is a very big value to all of us. And let me tell you also, in the last three years, in the last three years, there's been a plan in the pipeline which I have set up, setting doctors and professors and working on an all-female medical university that I want to establish. And they are working on this project, and I am working with other universities that have mostly female, doc uh, female universities and training females to read medicine. Because I believe as a Muslim, especially a Muslim in conservative areas, I know a husband prefers to have a female doctor checking his wife instead of a man. And that's why we need many, many more female doctors who are Muslims to be in various uh, hospitals across our country and, of course, across the world. So I'm very happy to be here. And it's not a question and answer session here for me to say, okay, I will take questions from you because we are not in a classroom. Let me repeat what the director said. If I come and you see me physically, you will pass your exams. Now you have seen me physically. Will you pass your exams or not? The answer is not so loud. Well, they said they will pass their exams, but with the help of the lecturers. The help of lecturers is for you to give them that knowledge that they need. I'm happy to hear somebody is uh, proposing a visit to Sokoto. I want to tell you that you are most welcome. We will be very honest. We are very, very, uh, we'll be very honest with you. When you do come, you will want to change the university to Madanfo University and continue instead of coming back here. Because we will make you feel so much at home that you want to come back. So I like the idea of you visiting on interstate visit, exchange visit. It's very important for us to know one another the more, and we will be able to host you. So work out the plans and let us know, and inshallah, we will be very glad uh, to receive you. We have so many students from Nigeria. It's not because we don't have universities in Nigeria. It's because we have universities in Nigeria but we have a very, very large population. You have heard that Muslims alone are almost 90 million. Now add others, almost 180 million. How many universities do you need to really accommodate? And that's why when we have exams, that's placement exams, we call it JAM. Out of a million plus, only two, three hundred or four hundred thousand could get placement. The rest have to wait till another year. So when universities like this, I, I was discussing with the director, some of the girls I'm sponsoring, I'm considering bringing them here to this university, to this medical school, so that they also interact with other students from, not only from Uganda, but from other parts of the world. I would like to thank you for your patience for being with us. I would like to thank you for coming to listen to us, to see us. I'd like to thank the chairman, the rector, and the head of this uh, Kampala campus of the IUIU. Now, most importantly, I want to thank the university itself in which we are here. Inshallah, tomorrow we'll go there, attend the graduation, and then go back. And I promise you, Inshallah, I will be back again, and we'll continue our relationship with this university. So I don't want to I don't want to discourage you by telling you the number we are going to graduate on the seventeenth. The program will start on the thirteenth and end on the seventeenth, inshallah. 
I'm telling you so that you know we have that university and I'm the chancellor of that university. And I want to see the possibility of a working relationship between the University of Ibadan and IUIU so that when you do come there, you know, on exchange visits, meet with other students, meet other faculty members, so that you interact because knowledge is so wide. Nobody in the world can claim that he knows or he has all the knowledge. It's not possible. All of us are students, all of us are learners, till we die. We stop learning when we are in our graves. And that's where it's supposed to be. But I'm very pleased, I'm thankful to Almighty Allah that I'm here. And I'm very pleased to address you. And I'm very pleased that I disappointed you, I didn't give you a lecture which you are going to take away. But I've given you this one notion that I feel part and parcel of you. In whatever you do, remember, I came here to see you, to see you specifically. I would have felt so bad if I haven't been to this campus today and continued to Mbale and then leave for Nigeria. So I'm very happy that uh, the rector forced me and I gladly followed him to come here. And I'm happy that I've seen you. I'm happy I'm happy with this elaborate arrangement in order to receive us. And we thank you for the support you are giving us. And during our discussions with the Mufti, uh, Sheikh Mubaji, we talk a lot about interfaith cooperation. Because we must be our brother's keepers. No matter which religion you practice, you know that God Almighty created all of us. One God Almighty. And I'm not better than you. You are not better than me. We are all equal before Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best amongst us is he who is most pious. So the piety is the word that separates me and you. But I'm here as Sultan. It's by chance, by God's blessing. I didn't force myself here. And I want to tell you, when I was in the military, my, most of my colleagues in the service, my seniors, never knew that I am from that family until I was appointed. Then they started screaming. They said, we didn't know you were from that family. I said, well, I knew I'm from that family, but I, must, I also know that I'm a soldier. And as a soldier, I'm following God's command to do my best to humanity. And that's what I did in my 31 years in the military of Nigeria. And I'm doing much, much more now because the pressure is, the demand is much, much more than even uh, when you were in the military. So we need your support, we need your prayers. Take us as one of you, take us as yours, wherever you hear things about us, let us know. When you hear good things being done, being said about us, keep to yourself and work with those. When you hear bad things being said, being told you about what we do, tell us so that we correct those bad things that we have done. Because nobody is above mistakes. So I thank you very much for your time. I thank you very much for your love, for your support. And I wish you all the very best. And I pray to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of you pass your exams with flying colors so that you, be, you can be the best you can be. And when they say you are from IUIU, they say, yes, we know IUIU is one of the best, if not the best medical uh, college in the world. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your Eminence, this is a, a traditional mat that is uh, made usually by the women around here, and uh, the one we use to, to use for prayers. So, yeah. Your Eminence, Uganda is one of the great countries that grow tea and coffee, and we thought would give you the flavors of Uganda, so that. Uh,